dear students or today i am posting my next video on applications of electronic engineering in which i am going to or tell you about ultrasonic belt safety system in vehicle so here ultrasonic car safety belt system whatever we see in a car or in any a vehicle wherever you have a safety belt how does that belt work okay now if you are go to see the basic thing of that ultrasonic car safety belt system it is designed to protect the driver and passengers in the event of a collision or a sudden stop so uh, whenever the vehicle is going to have a collision or whenever it is going to have a sudden stop at that time the a driver and the passenger should not bang in front of them on the steering or on the dashboard they should be they should be means avoided from banging and they should be uh, protected from that okay when in motion the driver and passengers are traveling at the same speed as the car if the car suddenly stops or a uh, crashes in that case this belt system will see that the uh, driver and the co passenger are protected from the accident a safety belt applies an opposing force to the driver and the passenger to prevent them from falling out or making contact with the interior of the car reduces the likelihood of death or serious injury okay that means as a whole the a driver and the co passenger who are wearing the belt whenever there is a collision of the vehicle or whenever there is a sudden break at that time they will not bang or they will not get hurt more as they were supposed to if they were not wearing the belt okay so with the belt it it becomes a safety system and they are avoided that they are not hurt much okay they are not seriously injured now as a picture we can see this picture for safety belt system here now it is a system where there is a narrow ultrasonic beam which is directed at the receiver and which is mounted on the windscreen okay so here you can see that you are transmitting here you are going to transmit a ultrasonic beam okay so this is the belt on which you are going to have a transmitter which will transmit a ultrasonic beam now that ultrasonic beam is this okay that ultrasonic beam is this and on the windshield receiver here okay so here you will be having a receiver which will receive that beam okay on wind skill windshield you will have a receiver which will receive that ultrasonic beam okay that means the wearing of belt is checked this is going to check the belt is properly mounted or no or the belt is properly over or not okay so that is how the sensor on the wind screen will give the information to the controller saying that the belt is properly over or the belt status is complete okay now if you see the block diagram of the car safety belt system okay so if you see this the block diagram there are two lines one is shown from the a driver here one is shown from the driver okay this is the driver stage and this is the front seat passenger stage okay now once you see this link first whatever it is going to check on both sides will be the seat switch whether the person whether the driver and the co passenger have sat on the seat and the seat pressure switch is activated seat pressure seat switch is activated afterwards the status of the belt belt switch is checked okay that means the belt transmitter will transmit a ultrasonic beam towards the receiver on the wind screen and then that wind screen will tell that the belt status is complete and the belt is wore okay now this gives a signal to the belt position sensor now in that sensor this is the transmitter and this is the receiver okay so even here you can see 
this is the transmitter and this is the receiver okay now for the hot driver you can see it is going to transmit a signal of 40 kilohertz and in case of front seat passenger it is going to transmit a signal of 50 kilohertz okay so those two signals are received by the receiver of the belt position sensor and then given to the logic circuit here logic circuit okay now this logic circuit will see the sequence okay now if the sequence is correct then that will go to the ignition switch where the ignition switch will be activated and the spark plug will give a spark so that the engine will start the fuel and air combustion firing will take place the engine will start and the vehicle starts moving so this is the complete circuit okay so this is how your circuit is completed for the process okay so that is when the sequence of your seat switch a belt switch is correct and then the belt position sensor gives the indication to the logic controller and the logic controller will allow the driver to go for ignition and the ignition switch will be on the motor will start okay if say if the sequence was not correct if the belt is not wore or if any of the sequence was not right then you will come to this path where you are saying it is incorrect seat belt sequence now in that there will be an alarm audible alarm which can be heard by the driver and the co-passenger so here you are going to hear a sound which will tell you that you have to wear the belt okay or any of the sequence is wrong it will indicate that clear so here a driver must occupy his seat activating a pressure switch beneath it means under the driver seat there is a pressure switch once he sits on that then that a pressure switch will complete the status of sitting then buckle the belt across his lap and close the belt switch so once the belt switch is closed then it is going to give you an ultrasonic waves which can be taken by the sensor on the windscreen if the belt is on correctly then 40 kilohertz signal is emitted from an ultrasonic transmitter which is mounted in the belt it is received by a detector built in the windscreen pillar which in turn completes the ignition circuit this is important once that ultrasonic ray ultrasonic wave is received by the receiver on the windscreen then that receiver will give the signal to the logic circuit and the logic circuit will see that the ignition circuit completes and the ignition works so the ignition process starts and then the spark plug will give the spark then the fuel air mixture will get burnt and once it burns power is developed and the piston in the cylinder starts moving then that is converted into rotational moment and then the wheels start moving and in this way the vehicle starts if sequence is not correct if sequence is incorrect then the logic circuit will trigger an audible and visible alarm mounted on the instrument panel then in that case a cut ignition if belt is removed while driving after some specific time okay so you are going to cut the ignition if the belt is removed at any time for very short operations such as parking, the logic arrangement can be adjusted to allow for car movement without the belt being worn. So that can be uh, allowed a very short operation where you are going to just park the car and get up, get, get down. Uh, thank you students. Uh, this was the explanation for ultrasonic car safety belt system.